Yeah, <clears throat> I'd like to add to that too, that just the word imagination leaves nothing but positive. You know, it, if, you, if, you're, if you're imagining something, you're in a good state. And that's, that's something that we want to continue on throughout life. So the more we encourage that at a younger age, that's, you know, hold on to that. <laughs> that's something that you hold on to because it's going to make you feel better and in a better place and everybody else around you is going to be in a better place because you've, you've, you've held on to imagination. You haven't let, let fear get in the way. It's, it's really almost a state of being uh, in, in love with, with your moment or with what, what you're engaging your mind in. So that's a, um, yeah, a wonderful message to save that imagination for uh, your whole life. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that it's very important to remain childlike, not childish. Just, just to make sure I, I clarify this, we don't want we don't want to raise children that are childish, but we we do want them to to. Uh, retain their childlike imagination and and curiosity and that uh, unshakable belief in stuff like Santa Claus. Try to convince San try to try to convince a child that Santa Claus isn't real. Like that type of childlike uh, characteristics. Yeah. Well, and I think for us um, as adults or parents, um, having an intention or sometimes it feels that there are situations that feel hopeless or that, uh, or there's some fear behind it. I don't know, starting a new business or asking for a raise or there is something going on in the relationship that you're not sure how to address. But having actually an intention, and for me, I, I thought about it earlier, obviously, <laughs> my communication, especially with my uh, partner and at work, I sometimes feel, oh, maybe it's better that I don't say anything or, you know, things like that, or it's whatever, but then I get sometimes so frustrated and then I explode, right? But to actually having the intention to say, okay, I have the intention of having better communication and then really also instilling in myself now, as in it, or I want to have a, my children to grow up, you know, or I don't know if there is a certain problem that you're dealing with at the moment. And then having the intention we can, we can uh, focus on or we can solve it because I always have great ideas and I'm resourceful and really affirming that to myself that I can move forward, you know, powerfully. And, and then actually like putting that into the intention and then even though you don't maybe know how to let it go or not to think about it anymore, to have the intention. I, okay, I put this out there and it's going to happen. And um, I actually uh, had this just recently. I wanted to do a course, but I thought, mm, do I want to spend the money or do I have the money, blah, 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 that kind of thing. And then I was like, okay, I, I know. And I told myself, I know I'm resourceful. I know I have always great ideas. And within three days, I had the perfect idea. And it wasn't anything out of the blue. It was just something that before I had, again, such tunnel vision, it can only look one way and blah, blah, blah. And I think that's also what imagination can do, right? Or yeah. magic or intention that, oh, I thought it can only look this one way. And then I just put the intention out there. I can do anything. And three days later, I actually thought of it I'm like obviously <laughs> so yeah. yeah even even Bob Proctor says that when you when you are uh, reprogramming your subconscious because your like your subconscious mind is what manifests your future right um, he even himself says that 
you know, you're putting the intention out there, but it's not necessarily going to come to you the way you think it will, but it will, it will manifest. So there's definitely something to that. Yeah.